Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new Let's Play. We are playing Voodoo Detective, a point and click noir themed adventure game which came out last year in May 2022. And I've had my eye on it for quite a while. It was developed by Short Sleeve Studio. Whew, try saying that three times quickly. But yeah, it's one that just seems to have these really cool visuals to it. All this hand drawn artwork, really cool jazzy vibe. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. This should be good. This seems right up my alley. Uh, so yeah. I picked it up in a sale a few days ago, and that's about it. Let's get into it. No more time wasting. Let's start the game and see what it's like. I should describe myself. Oh, okay. Hang on. We are tough, we are sensitive, or we are shrewd. Oh, let's look at this. Look at this. Oh, I'm very excited right now. Uh, so. What are we? What am I? Am I tough? Am I sensitive? Or am I shrewd? Well, I'm definitely not tough. I can be quite sensitive. Yes. Yeah. Am I shrewd? I like to think so sometimes, but let's go with sensitive. I'm a sensitive voodoo man. What am I looking for? Well, if I knew that, I wouldn't need to put out a personal ad. Why did I let my brother talk me into moving here? This town needs saving, he said. Restless spirits, he said. Oh, well, I can't blame them. With all the damn tourists here, I feel pretty restless myself. This town's got all the charm of a burning outhouse. Well, it looks quite nice to me out the window. Short sleeves. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Ah, uh, just my luck. I better poke around for something to help me put this fire out. Oh no, what is this? Broken Sword 2? Starting off with a fire? Burning text. <laughs> I do wonder what voodoo magic and malarkey we're going to get up to. And maybe even voodoo lady will make an appearance. How about that? Oh, and the phone's ringing. Um, I've, I've kind of got a bit of an issue right now. Can we answer it? Whoa, that's hot. No. Yeah, we have bigger bigger fish to fry, quite literally. Um, what have we got in our inventory? Use, single tap, combine, drag and drop, examine, press and hold. Okay, nice and simple. Can we get some water maybe? Or can we just blow out the text? Probably not. There's a fan over there. It's my number one fan. Can I pick it up? Right click. Um... It's my number one fan. Hang on a moment. Hang on a moment. How do I use different things? <gasps> Baron Samdi mask. Oh, I'm liking this very much. It's a mask representing Baron Samdi, a voodoo demigod. He's the lord of the underworld and one of the most powerful Loa. I like to keep him close. I find it comforting somehow. I know all about Samdi, even though I just said his name wrong. I've seen Live and Let Die. Who'd you take me for? Who'd you take me for? Okay, even though I didn't actually like that film very much, going back and rewatching it. I like having books in my office for some light reading. Homer, Aeschylus, Euripides, Aristophanes, Herodotus. Just kidding. They're mostly spy novels. Well, I'm no judgment here. That's fine by me. What is over here? Radio? Can we just escape out the window? Can we just get out? This town has all the charm of a burning outhouse. No. Uh, what if I right click something? Does that do anything? No. Click and hold? No. Can I just leave? <laughs> we'll come back to this later. Can't leave <laughs> while my office is on fire. Okay, no, we do have to address this issue. This burning issue. <laughs> I'm so funny. Uh, right. Well, let's see then. What could we do? What else can we look at? A Papa Legba mask. It's a mask representing Papa Legba, a voodoo demigod. He's one of the most powerful Loa and arbiter between humanity and the spirit realm. There's a hidden switch behind the mask. Oh. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. Little mini bar here. As I'm liking this. My seltzer bottle. That fire's about to have a toe tag and a ticket to the big adios. 
Seltzer. Great. Can I just have a quick gin and tonic, maybe? Just to get me started in the day? Is that bad? My first aid kit. No, all right. Let's just grab that. Let's use it on the burning text. That's better. Oh, well, there we are. Now, now is time for a drink. Now, let's answer the phone. Voodoo Detective speaking. How may I help you? Yes, that's my real name. No, I don't detect voodoo. I practice voodoo and use hoodoo to detect. It's right on the sign. No problem. Take care. Damn. I thought we might have a job there. Oh, wow. Hang on. Never mind. Spoke too soon. If you're from the fire brigade, you're a little late. Are you voodoo detective? That's my name. Unless they changed it while I wasn't looking. What's this about, miss? If you don't mind... I'd like to save the introductions for later, Mr. Detective. I have a rather strange case that may be well suited to a man of your talents. That is, if you do do voodoo. You do do voodoo, don't you? You don't do voodoo, ma'am. Why don't you come in and sit down and show some respect? Now, suppose you tell me about it from the very beginning. I need your help, detective. I need you to find out who I am. Voodoo detective. Oh, come on. I, I swear this never happens. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is that... <laughs> Get that out the way. What do you mean, find out who I am? If you're looking for a shrink, that's not really the kind of soul searching I do. I mean, I've lost my memory. You may not understand, but it's rather precious to me and I'd like it recovered. What do you remember? What have you found out? Why not see a doctor? Yeah. Or maybe she has and the doctor was like, I don't know. Um, let's... I don't know how this works in terms of can I can I ask all of these or is it just going to let me pick one and then move on? Let's try the doctor one first. Why not see a doctor? Why come to me? Believe me, I've seen all the best doctors money can buy. The popular opinion is that it's stress. Well, I'm not one to knock the other guy's merchandise, but you could have saved some time coming here first. Okay, cool. We can we can pick the other ones. Well, I don't think it's stress. You seem to have most your hair, which is a good start. What have you found out? So you don't have any idea who you might be? I've learned, or at least I've been told, that my name is Mary Fontoul. My husband, Victor Fontoul, is the president of Island Ventures. We live in a mansion outside of town with our butler, Benny. We've been married for ten years, and we're very happy together. And you don't believe a word of it. I may have lost my memory, detective, but I haven't lost my intuition. This woman I'm supposed to be, Mary Fontoul, it's not me. And what if you're wrong? Then you'll have made a bit of money, and I'll walk away a confused rich woman. Oh, I like that. I like the sound of her. I like her sass. Right, so what do you remember then, Mary? You lost your memory, huh? Did you check the couch cushions? Is this some kind of joke to you? Take it easy, lady. You haven't given me much to work with. Is there anything you do remember? What are you doing? Just a little examination. Oh, okay. Um, this is going to sound strange. I don't know if you'll believe me. 
It doesn't matter what I believe. You go on with your story. Well, the very first thing I remember was standing at a crossroads. I'm not sure where, but it felt somehow both familiar and foreign at the same time. Like the memory of a dream. There was an old man there. He spoke to me. I believe this belongs to you. I was confused. I couldn't remember ever having seen the pendant before. In fact, I couldn't remember anything. He seemed to understand. Don't worry, child. A little sleep and you'll be back to your old self again. My head started to swim and I blacked out. When I woke, I was lying in a bed I didn't recognize, in a life I didn't recognize. Around my neck was the pendant from my dream, and in my hand, your business card. I never printed any business cards. You mind if I take a look? By all means. Hmm. Oh. Well, that's not normal. Okay, so she woke up with this pendant, and where is it? You said the old man gave you a pendant. Do you have it with you? Yes, here. If it helps the investigation, please keep it. The investigation? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I still need more information before I agree to take the case. <laughs> more information being, where's the money? Let's say I am interested. Do you remember how to use a checkbook? I can offer you a $200 advance and another 200 on completion, plus expenses. Money is not an issue. Can you help me out? Or do I need to find someone else? Mm. Mm, 200 plus 200, 400. Fine. Well, all right, sweetheart. For that kind of cabbage, I'd boo to investigate most anything. Consider me hired. Thank you, detective. I don't mind telling you that comes as a relief to me. Here's the money. I have a good feeling about you. Save your feelings for book club, honey. You know, you better keep that shirt button, detective. I wouldn't want your big old heart falling out. I'll be careful, voodoo doll face. How can I get in touch if I need to talk with you about the case? If you need me, I'm staying at the Chic Shell Hotel. Please come see me if you make any progress. Oh, and detective. Yes? Don't call me Voodoo Dollface. What a knockout. A dame like that could give a zombie a heart attack, or a voodoo detective a real headache. I better mail my personal ad and then go get my book of voodoo back from Billy. All right. Well, there we go. There's the setup. Do we have any sort of like notepad or journal or any way that we're keeping track of stuff? That's just the menu. All right. Um, what else have we got on our? This was the de this was the skull in the in the menu, like the main game menu. I wonder what that is. One new message. <laughs> message one. <laughs> hey, it's Ronnie, your landlord. I still haven't received this month's rent from you. You're new in town, so I'm cutting you some slack. But if I have to call you again, I'm not going to be as friendly. Hope to hear from you soon. Thanks. End of message. Right, well, I wasn't expecting it to be an answer machine, but there you go. This is voodoo. Anything can happen. There was a message, by the way, I should say. There was a message when I started this game up where it said, sort of like, they're taking voodoo, which is a real thing, and they're they're trying to be respectful to it, but they're going to go in their own direction. So in case you were wondering, I guess it's not going to be completely accurate to the actual voodoo in real life, but I'm sure uh, <laughs> neither was Monkey Island, so it's all good. All right, what else have we got here? Anything in a desk? I can barely see my desk under all these bills. Nice desk, though. 
Don't worry, we got the cabbage. We got the cabbage. Look at all this. Money. No, don't do it. No. Don't do anything silly with the money now. Voodoo. I guess we have to call him Voodoo. Like, what's his name? His name is Voodoo Detective. I better grab Grammy's book from Billy's. Oh, we need to go get Grandma's book. Okay. Well, I guess we should probably leave then. Uh, telephone. Radio. Yeah, let's go. Let's go outside, see what this place is like. Just grab my coat before I go. Oh, wow. Okay. Man, I love... I just love how this looks. It kind of looks strange compared to the background. Like, we, we look very crisp and clear. So do all the characters. And then the background is quite... Uh, textured. And... Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it, I, don't, I don't hate it. It's just they stick out. Right, so there's our lovely little shop. Who's this guy? Tourist. Oh, yeah, he said about the tourists. I'm not talking to any tourists. Okay, that's fine. Um, island trader. Donut hole billies. Okay, that's where we need to go. Ew, children! Stay away from them! What's... <gasps> has, that little, has that little boy got a voodoo doll? What the... Is he stabbing it? Do that again, little boy. I dare you. Oh my god, he is. He is actually performing some sort of evil voodoo magic on that doll right in front of me. How insensitive. These tourists are everywhere. Push him in the sea. No, no, no. Let's not do that. Let's not go crazy now. I'm going to keep an eye on him, though. Who's this? More tourists, more tourists. Alright, I guess we can't really talk to any of these right now. That looks like the bank, maybe? Crumsford Capital. Is that what this place is called? Crumsford. Lawton Law. Or Lawton Law. Ooh, the Fon the Fontool Estate. Oh. Let's not go here yet. I feel like we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's go see Billy. Let's go to the donut shop. Can I run? What if I shift? Whoa! <laughs> oh my goodness! We can run all right! Wow! I like that though. That's really useful. Because, you know, we're going to get to that point where we're going to have to be going back and forth a lot. So, okay. Let's go see Billy. Oh. What's going on in here? Where are the donuts? Hey, lady. <gasps> She's got some wine. Can I come sit with you? I'm not talking to any tourists. What about the wine, though? Can I... No, all right, fine. Let's ignore everyone apart from... Oh, there's R Ricky. That's not who I want. There's Billy. Donut hole Billy. Oh, that... there's Grammy's Book of Voodoo. Okay, right, before we do that, can we talk to Ricky? Because he's not a tourist, so maybe we can. Well, if it isn't New Ganine's newest detective, what can I do for you, VD? VD, yeah, I guess that is our name. Uh, I need a drink. Questions about the case, questions about locals. How about these tourists, eh? Mortar and pestle, yeah, that's where it is. And then bye. Um, can we get a drink? That would be nice. <sighs> it's been a hell of a day, Ricky. Give me a voodoo fizz and make it kick like a mule with hay fever on Mardi Gras. You got it. On the house. Oh, okay, thank you. Oh. Down the hatch. Ah, <sighs> delicious. Another one, maybe? <laughs> Is it just going to make us infinite? No. Uh, let's talk about... How about these tourists, huh? What do you think of all these tourists? Well, you know I really can't complain. They bring good business to the bar. Where did they all come from? Our quiet little island's become a bit of a hot spot ever since Island Ventures moved in. They set out to commoditize the island experience for package and sale. First it was Island Kitchen, then Island Trader, and now Island Coffee. 
Sometimes I don't even recognize this town anymore. I don't think they'll stop until this island is just one long line of sweaty tourists shuffling from one island franchise to another. But I can't complain. Like I said, business is good. Mm, sounds like you can complain. Quite a lot, but... Coffee sounds good. I, I mean, I think I'd quite like it here. As a tourist, maybe come in on the cruise line. Come in, do a little bit of voodoo. Head back to the ship. Bye. What was Zawanga like before they showed up? Well, there were a lot fewer Hawaiian shirts and a heck of a lot more character. The main drag used to be a colorful collection of cozy shops and local flavor. Now it's just a tidy row of island brand imitation. They turned a rum on the rocks into a virgin pina colada. Even started tearing down old monuments. The most recent victim was a Honfo, where island coffee's going up. Now, people practicing voodoo like you and your brother don't really have a place to worship. Oh, we have a brother. Okay. Oh, is that... That must be our brother, Billy. Right. Enough about tourists, yeah? Enough of them. That's enough about tourists. Uh... Do I want to... Joe, what, before... Let's ask about this first. Hang on. Any chance I could borrow your mortar and pestle? The tools of my trade? Would I ask you for your gree gree and magnifying glass? Or oh, whatever it is voodoo detectives use to voodoo detect? Well, I guess we could make a trade. What do you have in mind? I'm running dangerously low on mint leaf. I need it for all the goofy drinks those tourists guzzle down. If you can get me more mint, the mortar and pestle are all yours. Hmm. I'll do it. But only if I get the mortar and pestle, and you make me a mojito. <laughs> mojito? That would be nice. Uh, Alright, no. Uh, let's leave these questions for now. I've got a split. See you around, Ricky. I want to go talk to Billy, because I just want to confirm. Is he our brother? No use trying to talk to Billy while he's in one of his piano trances. There's got to be a way to snap him out of it. Hmm... Oh, we didn't even look at the pendant, did we? Examine. It's a small, unremarkable pendant made of gold. Mary said it was given to her by an old man in a dream. I should see if I can find where it came from. Can I open it? No. Put that back then. Let's just grab the book first. That might even snap him, snap him out of his piano trance. That's my grandmother's book of voodoo. We call her Grammy. She was a legendary mambo. I should really ask Billy before I take it. <gasps> Bucket of water? Oh. Mm, some ideas forming there. Altar. Looks like Billy's got a little offering to pop a leg for here. What have we got? Pipe. That was shot of something. Very nice. Let's grab this. Never know when you might need a bucket of water. And there's also a... Like a gauntlet? What, what's going on there? That's a bit strange. I should use that bucket of water before I pick up any other heavy objects. Okay. Well, this seems a little bit <laughs> unfair, but do we have to chuck this water over him? Rise and shine. Oh my, wow. <laughs> I guess he's still out of it. Damn, he is really committed to that piano. Okay, can we slap him with this gauntlet? I bet I could find a use for this. Oh no, oh, we just took the chair. Can we take this as well? That's odd. Looks like a metal gauntlet. The sort of medieval knight might wear. I should use that chair first. These things are heavy. Wait a minute. Is it time to go all WWE on this? This hurts me more than it hurts you, Billy. Still nothing. Hmm. Okay, surely it's got to be this then. That's odd. 
Looks like a metal gauntlet. The sort of medieval knight might wear. Could come in handy, if you'll excuse the pun. Is it time to slap a you good with this, maybe? What did the five metal fingers say to the face? Hey, something fell out of the gauntlet. It's an older Monica, like the one I used to play with Billy when we were kids. You held on to this for me? After all these years. Oh, okay, so yeah. Kind of obvious, but this guy is our brother. Confirmed. Can we play the harmonica? If I want to get through to him, I need to start speaking his language. Oh, wait, I should have used it on myself, shouldn't I? Oh, no, wait, here we are. Just like old times, hearing that harmonica always brings me back. What's new, Voodoo? Oh, good. That was lovely. Well, a nice little moment there between between siblings. Oh. Uh, so, Grammy's Book of Voodoo. Questions about the case? About Bo Let's find out more about Billy first. How you doing, Billy? What's happening, Billy? Well, shoot. Where to begin? Well, um... The piano? What's with the offering on the piano? Something ain't swinging right in the spirit realm. I can't lock down the beat. It's all out of tune. The rhythm's wrong. I figured a little spirits for the spirits couldn't hurt. Hmm, okay. How have you been? I'm doing all right, brother. Especially since you moved here. Although I wish those Island Ventures vultures wouldn't knock such a steady beat on my door. They keep trying to get their tasteless talons into my business. Already own more than half the town. Oh well, in every life, a little rain must fall. As long as I have occasion to tickle the old ivories, I'm satisfied. You know, I'm getting vibes of uh, Escape from Monkey Island here similar sort of idea of all this corporate buildings and shops coming into the island and taking over. Uh, right, enough about you. <laughs> enough about you. I wanted to ask you about something else. Let's start Lay talking about me. me. So let's ask about the case first. I've got a new case. Mind if I pick your brain? Go right ahead. Have you ever seen this pendant? Sorry, I don't go in for any jewelry foolery. Ricky knows more about that sort of thing. You could ask him for a hot tip while you sip. Is this guy just talking rhymes now, all of a sudden? <laughs> Is he Dr. Zeus? Have you ever heard the name Mary Fontoul? Has my baby brother got eyes for some lovely lady? It has to do with the case. Sure, voodoo. Whatever you say. Wait, Fontoul? Yeah, Mary Fontoul. I know a Victor Fontoul. Maybe she's related to him. She's his wife. Going after a married woman, eh? Oh, I'm just messing with you. Sorry, I never met her. Hmm. That's enough shop talk for now. All right, give me the book. You mind if I borrow Grammy's book? Help yourself. But I'm surprised you need it. Must be a real tough case. This old book comes in handy more often than you think. See you around, Billy. Come back again soon. And don't forget that harmonica of yours. It always brings me back. Oh. Oh. Okay, so this is the book. Spells and Recipes. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. What have we got in here? Apple of my eye. A love hex. Gather a token of sweetness from the yearning lover. A hammer and signature. Blah, blah, blah. This will probably come up later. Oh, side effects. 
may include deafness, dumbness, blindness, and excessive grand thoughts. Grammy's Flaming Hot Sauce. <laughs> okay. Is this better or worse than Da Bomb? Uh, bat Guano. Ooh. Charcoal and Sulfur. Uh, yeah, that sounds pretty bad. Nine tenths of the Loire. Is that what this place is called? No. That's, uh, isn't that the voodoo religion when he was talking about the, the gods and like Baron Samadhi and stuff? Um, owner, honor. Owner, no. Owner, owner. <laughs> Can I read all of a sudden? Goodness. Uh, Poisson, pass out. Thew brew. Earn a soul. These are quite hard to say. Appendix. Ha <laughs> appendix. Uh, oh, good. Look, there's actually... I was hoping they would do this, where they actually kind of explain some of the the terms that they're using so I don't sound as ignorant and stupid. So, for example, the Loire are powerful demigods. Okay, so they're just the gods responsible for the various functions of nature. Um, uh, I mean, I still might get the pronunciations wrong. Uh, Hound foe is the place of worship, right? That's where they said they just were going to tear that up for the coffee place. Has a central pillar representing the connection from the human world to the realm of spirits. Okay. Govi is a clay urn. All right. Baron Samdi is the lord of the end and gatekeeper to the underworld. Yes. Right. I'll probably come back to some of these later on. And it might even grow when we learn more. Pyrite. Known as Fool's Gold. I remember having some of that when I was young. Oh, yeah. Used to be in, like, gift shops for museums and stuff. Okay, cool. Uh, how do I... Back that. Back out of that. Right. So, Ricky, you might know about this. I can't use that here. Oh, okay. No, it's probably in the, in the dialogue tree. Right. That won't help here. No, no. Put that away, then. But that way. Well, if it isn't New Ganin's newest detective, what can I do for you, VD? New Ganin. So is that the town? I swear I've heard a few different names. Maybe this is the town, and there's a name for the island, and there's a name for the collection of islands. I hope they explain that. Okay, so questions about the case. I'm working a new case. Mind if I grill you? Go right ahead, Mr. Detective. Oh, I like your moustache, first of all. I know that's not related to the case, but I thought I'd say it. Uh, pendant. Have you seen this pendant before? Oh, vintage. Not really my style, but nice piece. Could be an heirloom. Sorry, I've never seen it before. Oh, Ricky. Not massively useful, but okay, I'll forgive you if you make me another drink. What can you tell me about Mary Fontoul? Fontoul? I only know of Victor Fontu. He owns Island Ventures. Thanks for the info, Rick. No problemo. Okay, well, should we ask about the locals? Well, we may as well finish it off. I need the skinny on some of the locals. Of course, VD. What do you want to know? Our own brother, really? How is my brother Billy doing? Oh, you know Donut Hole, still tapping his foot and typing out tunes. I'm sure he's pretty fed up with folks trying to take over his bar, but nothing could shade his shine. He's just his wonderful musical self. So I guess I was completely wrong about it being a donut shop. <laughs> I thought it was literally going to be a donut hole, but I guess that's just his name. <laughs> Fine. Thanks for the info, Ricky. All right, then. Bye. I've got a split. See you around, Ricky. So I think that's going to be it. We need to come back and try and get this, but we need some mint leaves. That stuff looks kind of interesting on the shelf there. Lo oh, hang on. That's a local. Maybe I can talk to the locals. I just don't want to talk to the tourists. Let's have a look. They better not tear this place down, too. These tourists make me appreciate the mosquitoes. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Not that bad, are they? I hardly recognize this town anymore. Well, this is just depressing. Let's leave. Goodness gracious me. 
There's that creepy kid again. So I'm wondering, where are we going to find some mint leaves? Maybe... Island kitchen. Oh, oh, that's the pillar, maybe, for the, uh, for the, uh, 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 hound folk. Yes, 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 yes. This used to be a hunfo, a voodoo place of worship. At least until they bulldozed it to make way for island coffee. <laughs> hunfo, yes, yes, hunfo. That's what I meant to say. All right. Oh, what's that way? Path to the Chic Shell Hotel. So that's where Mary's going to be. I think before we go there, though, I guess let's just carry on looking around this town. Let's go into Crumsford Capital. Holy moly, look at this, look at this place. Wowza. Statue of Atlas. That guy's loaded. This is like Gringotts, but even crazier. Oh, but not as crazy as that lady's face. Holy, don't ever smile, Penny. Of course your name's Penny. I just knew it. You. L Ooh, let's just talk to her so she maybe stops doing that. Hello, and welcome to Crumsford Capital. What can I do for you today? I need you to stop doing that. That's not an option, though. Uh, I'm here for an investigation, yes. I'm a voodoo private investigator. I was hoping to speak with Mr. Crumsford. Sorry, sir. Mr. Crumsford is out at the moment. But don't worry. He should be back soon. Hmm. Do we want to open a bank account? Do we have any money to do so? I guess we have $200 now, don't we? So I have no reason to give these people my money. All right, and we'll stick it in the mattress instead. See you. Crumsford office. I'm sh I'm assuming we're not going to be able to get in there. She's going to go like, do not go in there. The door is locked. Sorry, sir. Mr. Crumsford is out at the moment. But don't worry, he should be back soon. Does not compute. Do not enter office. Oh, ink. Can I steal the ink? Turn around. It's a bottle of black ink. I'm sorry, sir, but if you take that ink, other customers won't be able to sign our contracts. Well, we can't have that. I'll be back, Penny. I'll be back to steal your ink. Whether you like it or not. Ooh, enter the vault. Excuse me, sir. Would you mind stepping away from the vault? Only crumbs for capital account holders are allowed in. Step away from the vault. <laughs> she just turns into a, a Westworld robot. Uh, can we maybe open one now? Because that's the only way we can get in there. Hello and welcome to... I have no reason no. to get... See you. We still cannot. Maybe later on we'll need to do that. Okay. Well, that wasn't massively productive, but I don't really think we need to know about here yet anyway. So, Lawton Law. Oh, we, we can go up to the roof of this building. Oh, okay. Hello. Theodore. Mr. Lawton. Uh, if you've come for legal services, I'm afraid I can't take on any more clients at the moment. Actually, my name is Voodoo Detective. I'm a voodoo private investigator. Got some questions I was hoping you could answer pro bono. Absolutely not. I have to finish preparations for an important uh, affair this evening. Can't you see how busy I am? Oh, how perfectly inconsiderate. I ought to hold you in contempt. You're just like my wife, Kiki, and her little puppets. Well, I'm not a puppet. I'm a man! Whoa, whoa. Okay, we've clearly opened the floodgates there to some bigger issues. I don't want to know about your wife and her puppets and her toys. I don't want to know about the issues you're having with her. I don't care. Just calm down. Calm down and tell me about this pendant. Have you ever seen this pendant before? This is a law office, not a lost and found. Now please excuse yourself before I'm forced to take legal action. 
Bye then. Be seeing you. Oh, be seeing you. I certainly hope not. I can never take that that phrase seriously, be seeing you. Not not seriously, but it just always sounds so ominous to me because it's what they say in uh, the Prisoner TV show back in like the 60s. And spoiler alert, they're all kind of crazy. So they always go, be seeing you. And it's just like, ooh, no, you don't be seeing me. Be seeing no one. What do we have up here? Ventilation shaft. Filing cabinets. Books. I'm assuming we can't touch anything here because he's just going to yell at us, right? Hey, you keep away from there. Yeah. It's a ventilation shaft. Looks like it runs to the roof. Right then, well, to the roof we go for some reason. <laughs> uh, don't know why we're going to need to maybe break into some ventilation shafts. Maybe there's some mint in there. <laughs> you never know. What's in here? The grill is screwed in place. I can hear someone shuffling papers in the office below. Yeah, that's good old Theo, our mate Theo. Do we have anything to use as a screwdriver? No. Let's come back to that then. Instead, let's head towards... Do we go to the, the Chic Shell Hotel or the Fontoul Estate? Let's go to the estate. Oh, maybe there's some mint growing in their gardens. Oh, in fact, there is a greenhouse. The greenhouse is locked. I'll need to find a key. Of course, that would be too easy. Look at all this lovely topiary. Man, this guy's loaded. He's got a garden and a zoo. Voodoo, these aren't real. These are made from plants and hedges. Don't worry, that's not a real elephant. What was that? Hang on. Oh, that's just us. I keep forgetting we can click on ourselves. Sure, it's big, but is it huge? Yeah, fairly, I would say. Now, can we go in, is the question. Good day, sir. How can I help you? The name is Voodoo Detective. I'm a voodoo private investigator. Voodoo, you say? What, may I ask, brings you here? Actually, I'm looking for a Mr. Fontoul. Victor Fontoul. That you? Oh, no, sir. I'm Benny, his butler. This is the Fontoul residence, but I'm afraid Mr. Fontoul is in a meeting at the moment. Perhaps you could come back another time. I bet he's in a meeting with Mr. Crumsford. What are they doing in there? And also, where's the mint? That's all right. I don't mind waiting inside. Oh, okay, wow, that, that actually worked. Mr. Fontule should be finished presently. Okay, you bugger off, Benny. Benny the butler. As I have a little bit of snooping. Butler's quarters. Ooh. Uh, bye. Oh, no. <laughs> Benny. Benny, 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 what is this? What do you call this? Look at all these bottles. Oh, what's in the desk? There's a letter here addressed to Benny. Tear stains have blotted out some of the words. Benny, you have to stop. I don't know what he would do if he found... Besides, I can't just forget the way you treated me. I don't know what you're getting at, hoodoo. You're scaring me. I'd like to remain friends, but you have to stop. Sincerely, I wonder if Mary wrote this. Wow, that kind of got a bit dark all of a sudden. And I like how we didn't even, we didn't even have the option of like not opening it. <laughs> Which is, nope, we're going straight in, reading other people's very private, confidential letters. That's just the type of voodoo detective we are. What else have we got? Sherry bottles, yeah. Empty. Looks like Benny Boy's been drinking more sherry than the Queen. 
Mm. Oh, hoodoo for butlers. Hoodoo for butlers. A couple of chapters are bookmarked. Love spells and mind manipulation. What have you been up to, Benny, old pal? Mind manipulation? Is that... I wonder if that's going to be... I mean, she did lose her memory. That's kind of manipulation of the mind. Hmm. Hmm. Benny, I'm a little bit worried. Is that it? Painting? I think it's Leopold. Anything else? Any mint? <laughs> Opera records and romance novels. There's also handwritten sheet music. It says Benny and the Jest. A ballad about how my love life has been one grand joke. Benny and the Jest. You're gonna get sued, Benny. Watch out. No, I think that's pretty much all we have to see in here. Anything under the pillow? No. Let's leave. Benny, you saw nothing. Who is that? It's a portrait of a fancy man. These two don't matter as much, clearly. This one's big, so we look at this. These are small, we don't care. Um, Benny, I'm just going to walk up here. Listen, you old pit viper. I've stuck my neck out for you financing this new factory of yours. All right, all right. Calm yourself, dear boy. No need to get excited. Well, if I'm excited, it's your fault. <laughs> Quid pro quo, Victor, you slippery worm. I don't like all this cloak and dagger nonsense. Just a little professional discretion, Gordon. We don't want anyone stealing our recipes, do we? Discretion? I don't care a fig for your discretion. I care about what's being done with my money. <laughs> Be it is, my friend. I'll explain it all at the shareholders' meeting. For now, please trust that things are progressing on schedule and as planned. <laughs> I don't like being left in the dark, Victor. I don't like it at all. You'd better have some answers next time we meet. <sighs> Sir? A voodoo detective is here to see you. A detective? Voodoo detective, Mr. Fontoul. I was hoping we could talk. I see. Well, why don't you join me in my office? Do I want to? I don't know. He seems... I mean, this is an early judgment, but he seems kind of evil. I'm just going to say it. He has that look about him. But we're going to go in regardless. Because we're brave. Oh no, wait, we're not. We're sensitive. <laughs> oh no. Uh, oh wow. Hey, look, it's the thing from Indiana Jones. I wonder if they're all references to things. Possibly. I only recognise that one though. Uh, oh wow. Curiosities indeed. Oh, on a map. Where are we? It's a map of a place called Ventures Island. That's right. Island Ventures has big plans for Ventures Island. Okay, so the island is called Ventures Island. Gotcha. <laughs> that makes sense. Oh, wedding photo. Looks like a wedding photo. Ah, what a happy day that was. Bloom of the peach, blush of the berry. My sweet, sweet berry. Right. You've got quite the collection here. I don't even know what most of this stuff is. Ah, yes. Those are from the old days before Island Ventures. I used to travel all over the world, collecting bits and bobs from hither and yon. I find different cultures completely fascinating. It's a bit of a hobby. You know, maybe he doesn't look that evil. It could go either way right now. I think it's the moustache is kind of throwing me. And also the British accent. 
Brits are always the villains. I do apologize for the excitement out there. When in business, one must deal with all sorts of people. Especially when you require funding. What was that argument about? Well, Island Ventures subsidiary, Island Kitchen, is preparing to launch a new line of food. I'm holding the cards pretty close to my chest to avoid any leaks. Gordon doesn't like that. But surely that has nothing to do with why you've come to see me. Unless you, too, wish to inquire about the particulars of our new secret recipes? I'm here on behalf of my client, your wife. Mary? My God, I've been worried sick. Is she all right? She'd been acting like a completely different person, and then she just up and left. Well, let's just pull a little pin. <laughs> mm, poor choice of words for <laughs> booty stuff. Um, pull a pin in that. Let's talk more about you, Victor. <gasps> greenhouse access. Let's talk about that first. Can you let me into the greenhouse? My butler, Benny, manages the grounds here. Uh, you'll have to ask him about it. Though he has become a bit more particular about whom he lets in, since his tiff with the local barman. Oh, well, we have some dirt on Benny, so it's all good. Anyway, about you. Do you mind if I ask some personal questions? Go right ahead. You've amassed quite the fortune. Got any greedy-eyed next of kin looking for a slice of inheritance pie? No, no, nothing like that. The only family I have aside from Mary is my nephew, Theodore Lawton. He runs a law practice downtown and works as my lawyer. And if you and Mary were out of the picture, he would stand to inherit quite a lot of lettuce, right? Are you suggesting that Theodore is trying to kill my wife? I'm not suggesting anything. Just exploring possibilities. Yeah, that was quite a strange line to take <laughs> straight off the bat. Uh, but hey, they're related. That's good to know. Do you know of anyone who might want to do you harm? Someone who might go after your wife to get to you. In business, one has many competitors. And of course, if you're successful, there are bound to be those who look on with covetous eyes. But business is about optimizing profit, detective. And there is no profit in harming a man's wife. Okay, enough about you now then. That's enough about you for now. Mary. I've got some questions about your wife. Uh, please, go ahead. Oh, we got a lot of questions. Wow. Uh, uh, Mary's past. What do you know about Mary's past? I'm afraid very little. I know both of Mary's parents died when she was young, and she has no siblings. But she doesn't like to talk about her past, and I don't wish to reopen old wounds. Hmm, that is sad. Does she have any friends? Does Mary have any close friends? Mary keeps largely to herself, uh, but she does visit with my nephew's wife on occasion. Her name is Kiki Lawton. We know all about Kiki and her puppets. Do you know how I can reach Mrs. Lawton? I know Kiki and Mary often enjoy brunch together at the Chic Shore restaurant. You might try there. What do you know about Mrs. Lawton? Kiki is the wife of my nephew, Theodore. But I'm afraid I don't know her very well. If you don't mind, I've got other questions. We certainly do. Let's, uh, let's go with anyone new. Was Mary spending time with anyone new prior to her memory loss? Not that I know of. My work requires frequent travel, and Mary always insists on joining me. Couple that with her proclivity for solitude, and she isn't left with much opportunity to make new acquaintances. At least, none that I would be unaware of. Okay. Who would hurt her? Apart from you. No, no, no. Do you know of anyone who would want to harm Mary? Heavens no. Everyone loves Mary. She's kind and good. She never bothers anyone. A mind would have to be truly unhinged to harm a sweet, delicate flower like Mary. 
Like yours. No, 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 no. Wait. Calm down, Joe. Uh, what have we got left? The pendant. Mary was given this pendant around the time she lost her memory. Look familiar? Why, yes. She brought it to me shortly after her memory trouble began. We never were able to find out where it came from. Do you think it has anything to do with her amnesia? I don't know yet. I'm going to hazard a guess and say yes. That's enough about your wife for now. All right, then. Bye. That's all for now. Godspeed, detective. Godspeed. Godspeed, old chap. What else do we have? Can I take that? Will a big boulder come out of nowhere if I pick it up? You've got quite the collection here. I don't even know what more. Oh, no, that's just the same. I used to. Okay. I find Alrighty then. Fireplace. Anything burning? Any evidence burning in the fireplace? Nothing compliments a hot day like a roaring fire. Except perhaps a trench coat. Touche. He got us there. Now we look like the fool. Let's get out of here. Oh, wait. Drink? No? All right, fine. Right, Benny. I have some questions for you. One, where's the key? Two, give me the well, key. Well, if it isn't Benny the butler. Hello, detective. What can I do for you? Oh, I don't care about all of this right now. Oh, but we can bring up the letter in his room. Maybe we'll come back to that. Let's try and stay on his good side first and just ask for the access. Can you let me into the greenhouse? I'm afraid not. What? The Fontule greenhouse represents a spectacular botanical achievement. The variation in provenance among the flora we cultivate requires careful attention. The only way to maintain precise control over the environment is to limit the number of visitors we allow in. <laughs> That's why I'm the only one with a key. I am sorry. Well, you don't sound sorry, Benny. And because you said that, let's start digging a little deeper, shall we? I got this letter here addressed to you. Where did you get that? Have you been in my room? This looks awfully bad, Benny boy. A letter from someone who doesn't appreciate your attentions. A book of hoodoo in your room. And Mary Fontoul wakes up without her memory. Care to explain? You have been in my room, Mr. Detective. I resent what you're insinuating, and I absolutely cannot abide you invading my privacy. I have nothing but respect and admiration for Mary Fontule. She's my dear friend, and one of the few people to show interest in my opera. I will speak no more on the matter. Hmm. He's not going to be an easy one, is he? What are we going to do? I'm seeing this big sword here. Maybe that will be useful. <laughs> no, I'm sure if we, need, if we need to threaten him or, you know, get something out of him, we can maybe do it in a more creative way, hopefully with some voodoo magic. All right, let's just finish up this dialogue. What can you tell me about Mrs. Fontoul? Mary is a good woman. She's always been generous to me. She used to sit for hours with that kind, blank stare of hers, listening to my opera when no one else would. It was unlike her to leave the way she did. I've been so worried. I do hope she's all right. Oh, you do, do you? Voodoo hoodoo. Hmm. Did you notice anything strange about Mary before she lost her memory? Not that I can recall. She seemed every bit her normal, quiet self. Completely imperturbable, as though a veil of calm separated her from the troubles of the world. Did Mary start spending time with anyone new prior to her memory loss? I don't think so. She only really spent time with Mr. Fontoul and her friend Kiki Lawton. And myself, of course. The dear. Yes, yes, I know all about that. Do you know of anyone who would want to harm Mary? No, I don't. Mary never hurt or offended anyone. Frankly, she didn't interact with all that many people to begin with. I've got this gold pendant here. Have you ever seen it? 
Sorry, no. Huh. Okay, then. If you don't mind, I have a few other questions. Oh, yeah, hang on. We still got to ask about Victor. What can you tell me about Mr. Fontoul? Mr. Fontoul is a beneficent gentleman. I can make no complaints about the time I've spent working under his employ. But even if I could, it's not a butler's place to say such things. What about if we put a, a few drinks in you? A few glasses of sherry, that might start uh, changing your tune. Do you live here? Why, yes. My quarters are adjacent to the staircase. Well, we kind of already know that because we've been a snooping. Goodbye. Thanks, Benny. Okay, so that wasn't particularly useful. But no, actually it was. We learned we learned quite a bit there. I'm now... Uh, I have doubts about both these people. Now more so Benny than Victor, though. Um, but maybe they're all bad. Or maybe they're all good, and I'm just a very cynical person. Could be that. But I think with that, let's leave the mansion. Because I think we've still got some places to explore. We still need to go to the uh, the Chic Shell Hotel on the other side of the island. And maybe go meet Mary and see what she has to say as well. And also find that mint. Get in that greenhouse and find that mint for the bartender. But we'll do that next episode. Until then, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.